hi guys welcome back to another video today i am filming a highly requested video that i got a lot of questions about on instagram um, basically it's an in-home quarantine edition workout transition from gym workouts to home and that's what i'm going to be showing you today i'm going to show you how i have changed my workouts to home workouts i'm going to show you all the workouts i have been doing right here at home and they are just as advanced and just as good as gym workouts and they will get you to the goals that you need to reach. And I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step how-to classes on evokefit.com. It is a monthly subscription workout classes right in front of you, right on the laptop, on the phone. You can watch them and learn how to do these workouts that I'll be showing you today at a very low price. I'll get more into that later, but that is what I'll be following. It's my trainer's online website. He does amazing workouts and they get you to such quick results. Um, so yeah, you can come with me today to the gym and see how I stay fit while in quarantine. A few of my essentials for home workouts are my sweatband that I wrap around my stomach area. This really helps have more sweat created around the abs, which really help with prominent abs and a smaller waist. And then I usually grab my resistant bands. There's about four different kinds, light, medium, heavy, and extra heavy. And of course, my Celsius pre-workout. This is amazing to jumpstart your workout, especially if you're feeling sluggish or tired in the morning or afternoon. This will definitely keep you up and get your workout through your workout. And then of course, my Yeti water bottle to stay hydrated through the whole thing. So I first thing I do is come down to the gym in the basement. I am wearing my sweatband to stay sweating, have my abs inflamed, keep me all tight. And this is the gym that I've been working out for the past few months. That's my dog, Mochi. And first thing I do is warm up on the treadmill. So I make sure my incline's at around three. I'm gonna start my speed at like 3.2. And I just start with a slow walk and go into a jog. And this I do for 10 minutes. And I like to do hit style training. So in the middle of this, this walk, I like to run, get my heart rate going, um, which is really awesome to spike it up and then bring it back down and then keep going. So this is what I do for 10 minutes. I am first going in with arms. Here I am doing an incline dumbbell press. I'm using 20 pounds to lift up over my head and touch the top before bringing back down. I do this 12 times for three sets each, and this helps with tightening the arms immensely, guys. Next, I'm doing plate squeezes using either a 10 pound or 20 pound plate, pushing in and out with straight arms. After a while, you guys, these do burn and they make a big difference for your arms. This is one of my favorite workouts, the dumbbell row. Using a bench, place your hand on one side and Pull your dumbbell in a pulling motion on the other. As you can see here, I have a straight back. My legs are in a stance position and I am pulling 12 times for three sets each. Using whatever weight you're comfortable with, I'm using 15 pounds, usually I do 20, and this makes a really great difference.
Next, using a pair of resistant bands, I wrap this around a column, um, whatever you can find to pull. I am doing static resistant band rows. So here I am pulling with a slight bend to my knees, staying in place with my arms straight, pulling towards me. I do this 15 times for three sets each. Then I just do some simple crunches, 15 of them for three sets each, keeping my abs inflamed, tight, really holding my core together, which is a super important part. So I did not have a medicine ball, so I just used a 10 pound dumbbell. Um, still repeating the same movement, sit up, raise it over my head, do a Russian twist, back down. Keeps my heart rate up, my arms moving, and my core really tight and inflamed. And then after a while I go into just simple Russian twists just to keep my abs nice and tight. Then to warm up the legs, I love hopping on this bike daily to do one mile bike runs. I usually set my level to two or three and I power through a one mile bike ride just to warm up my legs before I start working on them. After that, I go into lunges with 10 pound dumbbells on each side. Love doing these for the booty and the legs. It's an amazing workout, especially if you have weights on each side. It really makes it harder and keeps your butt super, super tight. Then onto squats, using a 15 pound dumbbell, I am doing deep squats. And as you can see here, I clench my bun cheeks when I lift up and then I go back down, keeping my heels firmly planted on the ground and clenching at the end. This gets your booty so poppin' and your legs so defined and muscular. Trust me, weighted squats is the way to go. Now, using the resistant bands I showed earlier, I am doing leg raises. The first one I'm doing are donkey kicks. So with a slight bend in the knee, you kick up, and I'm doing that on both sides. The next leg raises are fire hydrants, which is a side lift on each leg. So I slightly lift with my knee on the side. I do not raise it straight behind. I raise it straight to the side. This is amazing for your hips. And now I'm ending my workout with my favorite straight leg raises. I keep my legs completely straight, lifting it up and down from the toe to the top. This is amazing for the booty, you guys. It makes it lift and tighten like crazy. I swear by these. So 
there you guys have it a little step-by-step -step process of the types of workouts that i do at home um as you can see i follow those videos on evokefit.com which are so easy to follow and i feel like you can definitely improvise if you don't have certain equipment at home you can see that i did i didn't have certain dumbbells i didn't have certain machines but i made it work for me in my situation so you can do that as well um it doesn't have to be exact or perfect and also whatever works for you and your body remember everybody's limitations and what they can do are different so if you can do only 10 pounds only 15 pounds only 10 reps only 15 reps that's fine do you i do the same thing and yeah so i'm gonna give you guys a brief information on evokefit.com so evokefit.com is my personal trainer's website he just launched and if you use my code kimiafit in the promo code website it will only be three dollars and 99 cents for an entire month of workouts so if you just go ahead and click the website down below put in my code kimiafit it will only be three dollars and 99 cents every month and it will give you endless amounts of workouts. I'm talking every week, one week, week two, week three, week four. And I'm going to be making videos for every week. This was week one. It's really easy to follow, guys. I really recommend it, especially right now. All the gyms are closed. We don't know when they'll open up again. And I feel like this is the best bet for people who are learning how to continue working out, how to train, and still don't know the quite the ways to do it. I use this website, and it's super easy to follow, and it keeps me in shape. And reach all of the goals that I still wanted to reach before this whole mess and I feel like we don't know when this will end we don't know when the gyms will open up again and this website I believe is one of the cheapest memberships you can get for an online gym right now and I definitely think you guys should hop on that so go ahead check it out below put in my code and let me know what you think I'm going to be making more videos of these workouts of my workouts putting it together for you guys so we can all stay fit together. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below what other videos you want to see next. I'm so happy to film them now that I have so much free time at home. And yeah, let me know what you think. I love you guys. Bye.